Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I just, I want to refocus <laughs> what the bill is about. Um, Chairwoman Fox was kind enough to read us the entire bill and, and um, maybe Chairwoman, you could explain um, how the Biden administration's interpretation of Title IX runs contrary to the original intent of the law. And so we focus back on the law and what we're talking about. Um, well, thank you very much, um, Congressman Fishback. I, um, if you give me just one second to deviate, yep. then I'll come back. To your yes, question. absolutely. Um, I found the statistics. Um, Title IX, since its enactment, female participation in sports has increased 1,057% at the high school level and 614% at the post-secondary level. Go back to Dr. Burgess's question a moment. Uh, but to come back to your question, you know, it's very interesting to me that the biggest proponents of Title IX, when Title IX was put into place, and since it was put into place until very recently, were Democrats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Republicans supported it, I believe, but it was really, really pushed by Democrats. And yet here we are with the Democrat administration and Democrats in this body who are saying that it's not okay for women to be treated as equals. And so what the Biden administration has said is that no state can have a similar law. They are saying that states cannot do this. Um, they are saying that the secretary might be able to make some exceptions to some rules and regulations that states <coughs> want to put into place. I can't cite chapter and verse of the rule, but I'm summarizing it. But basically it says a state can't do what it is we, are, we have written into this bill which is to define biological males and define biological females and, or say biological males cannot compete against biological females. So the rule that they have proposed, which has not yet gone into effect, would negate any kind of legislation like this at the state level. Well, and yet many states have already passed legislation like that. Well, uh, Title IX seeks to create equal opportunity in the education Correct. system on the basis of sex, and yet allowing biological male participating in these activities runs directly contrary to that goal. Absolutely. And um, Absolutely. It, it creates an unlevel playing field where women are in, at, at a disadvantage in activities that were designed for them, and uh, you agree with that. And I, uh, you know, I don't think we need to look very much further than the swimming results that you mentioned in, um, in your uh, statements. But it is, it is sad to hear about the women who are being forced into uncomfortable position, situations in the locker rooms and, um, and having their work, their hard work, and their lifelong work and goals, you know, mean nothing. <coughs> um, and, um, yes, this is important. This is important to those people being affected, um, those women being affected by, um, by the policies that are now taking over. And, and I, I do think we should show compassion to the females that are being hurt by this. Uh, by this. Absolutely. The, our whole idea here in Congress is to prevent discrimination. Mm -hmm. And that's what Title IX was all about, because women and girls were being discriminated against. And that's what we're trying to see enforced, yeah. is, is fairness for women and girls, and to prevent discrimination. And, and Madam Chair, I absolutely want to see that uh, see that fairness and that restored to these individuals. You know, my heart goes out to the uh, young lady, the swimmer, who um, who was not only lost the title, but in addition to that, was attacked um, at one of her speaking engagements. Um, or, and so I appreciate the bill, and I look forward to supporting it on the floor. And with that, I yield back. Thank you. Gentlelady from New Mexico is recognized for questions. Thank you so much.